Yesterday was kind of a bad day for the market, wasn't it? But it was an even worse day for Silvergate Capital. That's the crypto outfit that tumbled nearly 43% before losing even another 2.3% today. Now, even before that decline, this thing was already down more than 90% from its all-time highs. A little over a year ago. A good example that stocks can always go lower, at least until they hit zero. Why do we care? Because Silvergate's a pivotal part of the crypto ecosystem, such as it is. And I think this story is a great example of everything that's wrong with that industry. It's good to talk about it on an up day so you don't just feel like, oh, my God, can anything go right with this group? On Wednesday night, this crypto bank made a series of horrifying disclosures, which is why it's now getting creamed. And if we don't address it tonight, I worry that the market capitalization will shrink to the point where I'm no longer allowed to talk about it on air. First, though, you need to understand what Silvergate does. This used to be a California-based community bank, but about a decade ago, they pivoted into cryptocurrencies with the goal of offering traditional financial services to companies in the crypto space, especially the cryptocurrency exchanges. They got in very early at a time when most banks wanted nothing to do with anything Bitcoin-related, and back then, it was really only Bitcoin. Now, they built themselves into something that's essential. Most importantly, they operate something called the Silvergate Exchange Network or SEN for short, which is a payment network for the crypto space. This network lets you send U.S. dollars to other Silvergate customers instantly 24-7, just like crypto transactions, much less cumbersome than a wire transfer. The other big component here is money lending. Silvergate offers U.S. dollar-denominated loans, and they're willing to take Bitcoin as collateral. At one point, they were working on their own stable coin, a kind of pseudo money market fund that allows you to go in and out of crypto markets with little friction. Something I've said repeatedly is the most dangerous link in the crypto chain. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.